top local story right now in the raid on Sean Diddy Combs LA residence by federal agents. This is a story that we broke here on Fox 11. Now at five, we have breaking news to report out of Star Island, where the home of rapper P. Diddy is being raided. Let's get right over to CBS News Miami's Naja Sherman. So let's talk about rapper Sean P. Diddy Combs' his legal problems. This is going to take a while. Okay, so this is Sean P. Diddy Combs, rapper, songwriter, producer, entrepreneur. This man here is a member of the Billion Dollar Club. Now, P. Diddy is connected all over the political spectrum from Barack Obama. I wanna say to you right now while you're in front of me, sir, that right there makes sense, you know? I've been hearing a lot of bull today. I have been disenfranchised all day because I'm asking questions. They not answering my questions. This is how young people feel. When you wanna be the president of the United States, you, you call your man. Al Sharpton. And his good friend, Donald J. Trump. At least uh, according to Diddy. Donald Trump is a friend of mine. Now, you know who he is. You know he's connected. Let's get into the details. All right, Diddy's sexual misconduct allegations started in 2017, where Diddy's former chef sued him for sexual harassment in Los Angeles. Now, among the allegations, she said she was forced to serve meals to Diddy and his friends while they were engaged in sexual activity. On another occasion, Diddy summoned her to a room and asked her if she was attracted to his naked body. And she also claims that a male house guest asked her to admire his genitals after he engaged in sexual activity. Now, she was claiming that this was both sexual harassment and caused a hostile work environment. Diddy and his team settled that lawsuit for undisclosed terms. Now, fast forward to November 2023, where singer Cassie filed a lawsuit against P. Diddy Combs for sex trafficking and physical abuse. All right, we have more breaking news. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs is accused of a lawsuit by R&B singer Cassie claims that she was in a years-long relationship with Combs that also involved beatings. The singer claims Combs trapped her in a cycle of abuse, violence, and sex trafficking. The lawsuit claims Combs punched, kicked, and stomped on her, and it alleges Combs blew up a man's car after learning that he was romantically involved with Cassie, whose legal name is Cassandra Ventura. Combs' defense attorney denies the allegation, calling Cassie's suit offensive and outrageous, and he goes on to say Combs has been, quote, subjected to Miss Ventura's persistent demand of $30 million under the threat of writing a damaging book about their relationship. Did he then settle that lawsuit? We have breaking news now involving Sean Diddy Combs and his ex-girlfriend, the singer Cassie. Representatives on both camps and Cassie, whose real name is Cassandra Ventura, are saying tonight that the two have settled the lawsuit she filed against the mogul yesterday in Manhattan federal court. Ventura accused him of and years of physical and emotional abuse. There are no further details yet tonight about the terms of the settlement. Now, after Cassie filed her suit, this woman, Joy Dickerson Neal, filed her lawsuit against Sean Duty Combs. She claims that when she was 19 in 1991, she was drugged and brought to Diddy's home where she was sexually assaulted. She also claims that Diddy recorded the sexual assault and showed it to friends. Then after that lawsuit, another woman filed a lawsuit under Jane Doe, where she claims that she was sexually assaulted by Combs when she was 17. In the lawsuit, she provides pictures of herself with P. Diddy Combs while she was 17 years old. Now, the 17-year-old 11th grader was from Detroit and alleges that Combs flew her to New York where she was sex trafficked. Now, in another lawsuit, a woman says that she was sexually assaulted when she was 16 by Combs and singer Aaron Hall. Now, the woman claims that her and a friend were invited to Combs' home accompanied by singer Aaron Hall. She claims at 16, they were given drinks and forced to sleep with both Combs and Hall. The lawsuit claimed that both women were and Hall and Combs would switch between the two. Now, again, Combs denies all charges. Then we get to the mother of all lawsuits filed by a man named Rodney Jones. Now, Rodney Jones is a former employee of Sean Combs and says he began work in August 2022. Now, Jones, even though he was hired to produce music, essentially became Combs' videographer. Jones states in the lawsuit, Mr. Combs required Mr. Jones to record him constantly. On several occasions, Mr. Combs took Mr. Jones' cell phone and began recording himself. As a result, Mr. Jones has secured hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings of Mr. Combs, his staff, and his guests engaged in serious illegal activity. Now, Mr. Jones goes on to say that he has irrefutable evidence of the following. The acquisition, use, and distribution of illegal drugs, also known as 
drug trafficking, the display and distribution of unregistered and illegal firearms. He says he can prove that Mr. Combs provided laced alcoholic beverages to minors and sex workers at his homes in California, New York, the Virgin Islands, and Florida. And he also alleges various acts of sexual misconduct by Mr. Combs' entourage, like actor Cooper Gooding Jr., young Miami's cousin, and an unnamed rapper and R&B singer. Now to prove he has this evidence, first he shows a newspaper clipping of a CBS news article that says man shot outside of party at Hollywood recording studio. Then he shows pictures of the aftermath of the shooting. The lawsuit then goes on to make allegations against rapper Stevie J. He provided screenshots of what appears to be Stevie J having sexual relations with another man. Mr. Jones also said that Combs told him that he engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper number five, redacted, R&B singer number six, redacted, and Stevie J. But in the footnotes, it says rapper number five is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Now, if you just Google Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj, that's Meek Mills. The lawsuit says that the R&B singer that P. Diddy says he had sex with, quote, he performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. If you type that into Google, you come up with Usher and Raymond. The lawsuit also provides screenshots of Mr. Jones and Combs together, and it alleges that Mr. Combs tried to force Mr. Jones to take cocaine, and that young mommy's cousin tried to sexually assault Mr. Jones on that vacation. The lawsuit then alleges that Mr. Combs and company were involved in sex trafficking. Here is a still from an alleged video of sex workers that Mr. Jones was forced to bring to Mr. Combs' house. Mr. Jones also said that he was drugged and woke up naked in bed with Mr. Combs and two sex workers. The lawsuit alleges that these are the Instagram photos from two sex workers that Mr. Jones was forced to bring to Mr. Combs' home. He also shared screenshots from videos of allegedly Mr. Combs with an underage female and sex workers. He also shows a screenshot from a video with allegedly Mr. Combs' son with an underage female. Mr. Jones then goes on to allege in a lawsuit that he was sex trafficked by Mr. Combs. He then shows a screenshot of P. Diddy Combs and Cuba Gooding Jr. moments before he says he was assaulted. He then shows a screenshot of a video of Cuba Gooding Jr. allegedly forcibly touching Mr. Jones in an inappropriate manner. The lawsuit then goes on to show pictures of illegal contraband. It also alleges that this man, Brandon Paul, was Mr. Combs' drug mule. Now, Brandon Paul was just picked up by the feds in Miami for possession of suspected cocaine and suspected marijuana. Now, for all the screenshots of alleged videos, the writer says that he's in possession of the video and will provide copies to the court. Now, this lawsuit with its alleged videos, screenshots, and illegal activity is a treasure trove of problems probable cause. So if you just look at the document, you got evidence of child sex trafficking, sex trafficking of adults, drug trafficking, and many, many more federal crimes. So the feds got a search warrant for violation of sex trafficking laws and raided Diddy's homes. Hey there, I'm Hallie, and tonight we are starting with that dramatic situation happening as we speak in both LA and Miami Beach at the homes of Sean Diddy Combs. You know him as Diddy, formerly Puff Daddy, big time rapper, big time producer, big time superstar. And now the feds at his houses in both locations. This is a live look right now. On the left, that's West Coast, that's LA. On the right, that's Miami Beach you're looking at. I want to show you in just the last couple of minutes in L.A., agents holding what look to be guns as they walk into the home, as they enter the home. And you can see some of the apparatus there that they've brought. I want to get to Dana Griffin, who is following this for us now. Why is this happening? What do we know? Hallie, still, as you mentioned, this is a developing story, so we're learning new details minute by minute. NBC News has confirmed that this is a raid being conducted by Homeland Security and that the warrant specifically came out of the Southern District of New York. Now, we believe this is tied to sex trafficking allegations. There's an investigation into claims that he may have been, that the rapper may have been involved in this. So we believe this is connected to that. But obviously, what a split screen moment here to see investigations not only, not only in Miami, but also Los Angeles, which shows that this was very coordinated and planned. And remember, when it comes to warrants, these aren't things that are just, you know, done haphazardly. This had to be signed by a judge. So this was obviously very methodical. Now, after the raids, Diddy came out with a statement. Diddy's attorney says, despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested, nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. This unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. 
in one of those lawsuits filed last month by music producer Rodney Wilrod Jones against Diddy. It includes photos and accusations of sexual assault, sex trafficking, and drugging underage girls. Now, as always, tell me where I'm wrong in the comment section. Diddy has not been arrested and denies all charges, so we will see what happens with that. Let me know how you feel about this story. Do you think he's gonna get arrested? Do you think he is in trouble? Remember, they've raided the house, no arrest as of yet. I'll keep it posted. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, do all the great YouTube stuff. My name is Nate Lawyer, and I'm out. Peace.